before that there would be clinics of people who would hand out drugs that were more pure so it wouldn't hurt people. Oh, but they yes, wouldn't be in a position to fly a plane. And if they insist they still wanted to fly a plane, that's when Jack said yeah. they'd be put someplace and be helped. But the question isn't, isn't really about the drug addicts. It's, it's really about the people who refuse help. So if the person doesn't, he thinks that he doesn't need help, but he, we can see that it. it and, when, and if we it's can't some reach them, some way. Yeah, we can reach they have them. to have die. To force them some way to get into they life. die doing their thing. If a guy says, I'm going to be an alcoholic, or I don't like alcohol, I don't want any treatment, he will die. So we just let him... We just let him. We try everything we know. If it doesn't work, say my mother would always hate the Japanese and I couldn't turn her away. It means that I don't have the ability to change them. So we do a lot of research on how to change people. Is it films? What will change them? We have to figure out what will change them. If we can't do that, we can't change them. You're going to find out when you go out and talk about the Venus Project, you're going to be called all kinds of names. Yeah. I can assure you that. And you can say you follow. I don't want people to follow me. I want them to listen to what I say. If it makes sense, do it. Who the hell wants to build a following? Somebody gets up and says something, they follow him. I want you to understand the world so you can do the things I can do. I don't want to maintain control over you. I don't get my kicks out of that. I feel safer when you know what to do. I feel more comfortable yeah. than always having to come to me to ask me questions. I, when I was a kid, I built an airplane, a new type of plane, and I launched it and it went clonk right into the ground. And an older kid came over to me and said, Jock, the reason your plane went like that is because your wings are too far back. You have to be moved forward. So I moved the wings forward and it worked. That's the first guy I ever met that helped me. He, most of the other kids said, my plane is better than yours. It's the ego, you know what I mean? But this kid gave me information. I said, how did you know that? He said, because I did the same mistake you did. And somebody came over and helped me. So if you don't share your knowledge with other people, the problems will continue. Do you understand? Yeah. So I found that my sharing knowledge with my friends didn't make me appear controlling them, but they made them wiser and better able safety device. Most of my friends turned out to be inventors and social innovators. You know what I mean? Not because they were born that way because they were turned around. So I taught people how to invent, how to write, how to become creative in different fields. It was not an inborn thing. You understand? Yeah. Today they say you're talented and gifted. That's because they don't know where it comes from. Mm -hmm. But every invention is based on one before that. And usually the people working with drug addicts are those who were drug addicts. Those are the guys that need to get to those people because they identify with them. Yes, same Not somebody coming in, you know, who doesn't do that. So uh, a situation where we have to force a man to do something he doesn't want won't occur. Then it won't work out. No, you find ways of getting to people without force. That's what they do today. They force, and if they can't get them to do something, then they raise their voice. And if they can't get them to do something, then they build armaments. It's there are other methods. What if he's going about being destructive? How, how do we make sure that he doesn't harm anyone? That, that's what I'm about to well, then you, they put him in an environment that was more conducive to working on them. How do we put him there? And who Somebody decides? Has to do it. Who wants to be interested in doing this? That's the question. Those who are working with people who do that, they, they'd have to get him there some way. Yeah. You know? We have a lot of people trained. For example, um, I would rather have a guy from the South talk about the Venus Rising with a Southern accent. And if we work with Hindu, Hindus, I'd have a Hindu trained in the Venus Rising who presents it. If I go to a black community, they say, what the hell is Whitey doing here? You know. So I'd rather have a black man explain the Venus Project in their terms. Because I know it's easier that way. People identify with their own kind. Yeah. So when I go to Saudi Arabia or wherever I go, I say I'm a S Arabian. Mm -hmm. They like it better. Yeah, yeah. It makes them feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's sickness, you know. But I have to do that. When a guy says to me, uh, you look like an Italian. Are you Italian? I say, yes. They say, Gumba. They shake hands. <laughs> that means they're ready to go. What have you got to say? But, but if you say, no, I'm Swedish. 
No, they don't list, pay as much attention. I'd rather have a Swede to describe the Venus Project. Mm -hmm. So during yeah. the transition, we used a lot of gimmicks like that. I'm sorry. I wish anybody can listen to anybody without having to be a Swede or a Scotsman or an Irishman. Do you understand? Yeah. And the, and I the drug think addicts and the alcoholics have to go somewhere to get their drugs and alcohol. They have to go somewhere to eat. You know, they could, they could be some kind of intervention. All those things have to be worked on. Yeah. It, so the question is, which means of action can be used, which means are okay? The ones to, that work. Only the ones that work. Yeah. So you come in, your success rate is 57%. Mm -hmm. His is 20 We use that system. Yeah. And if you come up with a better system, we use that system. So what, the final measure of any system is how well it works. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah it does. Okay. But, but what is... How is it okay? Um, how can you decide what to do with a person in order to prevent him from acting destructively towards okay. another? Okay. First of all, we show them films. We show them, and we watch their reaction. Because when, a, say, a guy is watching a film of children playing, and his eyes are always on the genitals of children. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. We photograph every person mm -hmm. in school, and so we know what the tendencies are. And in school, we can intervene real early. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Dahmer used to pick up dead cats and cut them open, and, and was always interested in what was inside a man's head. He'd drill a hole in the head, cut the break the head open. He was malformed by the fact that he was brought up in a restricted environment with limited information. But in the future, we'd catch it real early in the kids, yeah. and we'd undo that. Yeah. But if you're gay, we don't touch you because that's another type of conditioning. If you're brought up by women only and your mother's dominant, your father's a little guy and your mother calls him a runt, then you identify with a person in control. Like if you're brought up by women that are very effeminate, if you were, as a baby, brought up by six women and women move differently than men, they say, to, oh, did I see a gorgeous, you will move just like a woman if you're brought up in that environment. So we, I wanted to check that out because I don't know that that's so. So I ran cowboy pictures for two weeks for ten little girls and they were walking around like that. <laughs> and after watching those movies, because when I was a kid we tended to want to be a fireman or a policeman because that's what we saw, or a cowboy because he had guns. So today kids want to be spacemen, astronauts, scientists because of Star Trek. You know. mm -hmm. But Star Trek is people killing each other with laser weapons. Mm -hmm. That isn't, or blowing up spaceships. So that's the false aspect. The future is not like that. They take the normal people of today and put them in spaceships. <laughs> and they have <laughs> Captain Bojo. You, know. you don't have captains in the future. You don't have to fly the spaceship. They're pre-oriented to get to Mars. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't, can't put, if we try to visualize the future, it's the same families and all that stuff. So when I make movies on the future, I have to use families in there. There'll be no families. Most people won't want children. But today, that's normal. So you have to use that if you really want to change people. Otherwise, you come at them and they know what the hell you're talking about. I wouldn't want to live in your world. Your grandmother, I told you, if you took her to Miami Beach and she saw the girls with their butts hanging out, she'd say they've gone too far. Now she's right where she's coming from, but not today. But you've got to understand your grandmother was brought up in a different world. So we teach the kids in school that your parents and your grandfather were brought up at different times and their values are different than ours. But don't look at them as bad understand where they're coming from. Yeah. That the Indian is not stupid. All they do in their culture is dance around a fire, ah, la, la, you know, and, and because that's all they know. That's all they've been exposed to. Yeah. 